Understanding of load curve is important to understand various economic factors. To understand various economic factors, we must first understand what is a load curve. Economic factors are important because we want to cut the cost of electrical energy. We want to provide the electrical energy at the lowest possible cost and for that we must focus on economic factors. So first we will understand what is a load curve and once we are done with load curve in this presentation we will study various economic factors. So what is a load curve? What is a load curve? Load curve is the plot or graph which shows the variation of electric power demand with respect to time. So the y-axis the y-axis of the load curve is simply the power demand power in megawatt or power in kilowatt and the x-axis of load curve is the time in hour. So this is what we have in case of load curve and we will plot the variation of power demand with respect to time. Depending on the duration we have three types of load curves. First one is daily load curve, daily load curve. Second one is monthly, monthly load curve and the third one is yearly load curve. In case of daily load curve we start from 0 hours and we end at 24 hours. During this time interval we focus on how the load is varying. We plot the variation of load according to the time and we will get the load duration curve. In monthly load duration curve we will start with first of the month and we will end at 38th of the month or 31st of the month depending on what month we are having. In case of yearly load curve we will start on 1st January and we will end at 31st December. So in this way we have three different load curves and we will mainly focus on daily load curve. We will mainly focus on daily load curve because you will have problems based on daily load curve and even if there is problem based on monthly load curve or yearly load curve you can easily solve it once you understand daily load curve. Now I will plot the daily load curve for a city A there is city A and for this city I will plot the daily load curve. You can see the load curve of city A from 0 hours to 24 hours and the plot is varying. So load curve is a variable plot. The power demand is varying continuously with time. In the morning you will require less amount of power and as your day starts you need more power. Schools and colleges will open, offices will open, shops will open and they will require more power. So we have increment in the power demand. In the same way throughout the day the power will vary and after 9-10 pm the demand of the power will decrease. I will explain the x-axis a little bit more. Zero hour is 12 midnight. 12 midnight 24 hour is also 12 midnight so this point here and this point here is same and it will have the same power demand because the two points are same if I draw a clock if I draw a clock like this then this is 12 12 this is 6 this is 3 and this is 9 now 0 hour is 12 midnight so this is 0 hour and 24 hour is also 12 midnight. So 12 midnight is 24 hour as well and in between we will have 12 noon, 12 noon. So 12 noon is also there. Now let us try to understand how we are getting these different times. When you start at 12 midnight you will get 0 hour. You will move like this 6, 9 and then again 12. This, this 12 is after 12 hours and it is 12 noon, this one. Again you start moving like this and you will get 12. This 12 now is 24 which is the midnight. 
I hope this is clear to you how we are writing the x-axis. Now let us try to understand what will happen if we change the season. For example, let's say this plot is for 7th January and if you plot the load curve for let's say 7th May then you will find a different plot. In case of summers, 7th May is summer and 7th January is winter. In case of summer, you require air conditioner, cooler, fan, etc. while you sleep. But in case of winter, you do not require these appliances. So this time and this time when you sleep, you do not require the appliances which consumes electricity like air conditioner, fan or cooler. But in summer, you will require these appliances. So the load curve will be like this, okay? Because the appliances are running at your home and the power demand will increase. So there are a few important things regarding this load curve. The first thing, it depends on the type of load. For example, the city A is having colleges. It is also having the shops. It will also have the hospitals. Now regarding the colleges, it starts 9 in the morning and it closes 5 in the evening. Shops usually opens 10 in the morning and runs till 10 in the night and the hospitals run 24 hours. So we need to supply some amount of power to hospitals 24 hours. So we are required to provide a certain amount of power 24 hours in this plot you can see we are required to provide this amount of power for 24 hours and this power is known as base load so here we are having base load this one is the base load and in the same way we have the peak load in the same way we have the peak load the maximum amount of load we need to satisfy in the 24 hours is known as peak load and the intermediate intermediate load we know as intermediate cycling load i will write this down the intermediate load is known as intermediate intermediate cycling load so in this way we can divide the load curve into three different parts. The minimum amount of power we are required to transfer is known as base load for the loads like hospital, some industries which operates for 24 hours etc. And then we have the peak load when all the loads are operational we have the peak load and in between we have the intermediate cycling load. We can divide the time axis into two different periods. The first one is peak load period this period is peak load period then we have off load period this period and this period is known as off load period this one is also off load period so in this way we can divide the time axis into peak load period depending on the peak load and the offload period depending when there is no peak load. Apart from load curve we also have other curve known as load duration curve. Load duration curve. So what is the difference between load duration curve and load curve? Load duration curve is same as load curve but the demand data the demand data is ordered in descending order of magnitude for example this is the maximum load so in load duration curve everything will remain same the y axis is for the power demand in megawatt or kilowatt the time axis will have the unit of hour and instead of following the chronological order we follow the descending order this means the peak load will be plotted first and then 
we will plot the other loads which are lower than the peak load and in this way we have the load duration curve and this one here is the base load this is the base load and this is the peak load so i hope you now understand what is the difference between load duration curve and load curve so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will discuss what are base load plans and what are peak load plans to satisfy the base load we use base load plans and to satisfy the peak load we use peak load plans so we will discuss what are base load and what are peak load plans and the reason why we can't use base load plant as peak load and peak load plant as base load so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one